Moving now to Ramallah, the Palestinian Authority clashing with Palestinian protesters for three days in a row following the death of activist and prominent critic of PA President Abbas, Nizar Banat, this while in Palestinian police custody. Banat's family saying that they witnessed officers viciously beating Nizar with a metal pipe for eight minutes before finally dragging him away. Joining me with the details is Palestinian affairs expert and former advisor to Kogat, Lieutenant Colonel in the Reserves, Alon Evyatar. Lieutenant Colonel, thank you so much for being with us now. In the wake of Banat's death, calls for PA President Abbas to resign, especially after 16 years in office, have grown to a fever pitch. How do you see this situation ending? Well, actually, uh, I don't see that. I, I don't think that uh, the, the current uh, prote protest that uh, we have seen during the last days uh, in the West Bank, it's not just a Nizar Banat case. I think that um, most of that is a protest against the PA regime, against the corruption, against uh, the President Ab Abbas uh, himself, and against the uh, against the uh, Palestinian security apparatuses. I think that uh, we saw there over the, those demonstrations and so on. Uh, let's say a phenomena which uh, describe a kind of uh, a hate. Uh, not just uh, between the public and the PA, but also hate about the policy, protest about the policy that the PA uh, have shown during the last uh, years, uh, even uh, related to the uh, conflict with Israel. And for that, I think that uh, this, um, I would say, uh, uh, event or the protest uh, on the West Bank is not it will not be uh, come to, to, to the end during the next uh, days. I think that uh, there is something deeply than uh, Nizar uh, Banat case. It's not that just a file of uh, this uh, activity, but uh, more of uh, that. And uh, we have to remember that uh, there are a few elements in the uh, um, PA authority and Fatah movement and in the West Bank itself, like uh, Muhammad Dahlan, mm -hmm. one of the candidates uh, that uh, try to move it uh, on, try to initiate, try to push it forward. And for that, uh, for those uh, political interests, I think that uh, um, we, we shall come to end maybe during uh, a long period, not uh, tomorrow morning, I think. So, so again, though, what, what do you think the culmination of these protests, these rallies, is going to be? Do you think that there's going to be a large reform in the Palestinian Authority? Or at the end of the day, is the crackdown going to die down and then things will go back to the status quo? Well, um, it's, it's a very important question because uh, the, the, the point is, uh, or the topic, it's... Uh, um, the, the question, what will be uh, in the end? I think that uh, first, we have to remember that uh, the PA itself uh, tried to do all its efforts to prevent any international investigation. This is uh, for the beginning. The PA doesn't want that any uh, factor, any element uh, outside from the West Bank will be involved in this case. Second, I, I think that uh, the main interest of the PA is, is to come down, to, to come to, uh, to relax the, those uh, protests, those uh, activities that uh, try to uh, change any uh, policy in the PA uh, or culture, if you want, political culture. I don't think that uh, we shall be, um, uh, we, we shall see any uh, crucial uh, or a huge change in the PA itself. And uh, I think that the most uh, mission, the, 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 the biggest mission of the uh, security apparatuses is to, uh, uh, to prevent any escalation of this protest. And therefore, I don't think, uh, think that we shall be, uh, we shall see uh, something uh, huge on the ground. Uh, of course, that there is a negative impact and influence of this protest. But if you ask me that uh, if the, um, the PA uh, authority will change something uh, huge in the uh, uh, policy, the internal policy, I don't think so. All right, Lieutenant Colonel Eviatar, thank you so much. Thank you.